Hello, everybody. Welcome back to more Loop Hero. We are going to be popping in on our second run here. Uh, we don't really have anything else we can do as far as an in-town thing for now. Uh, but alas, that's all right. We'll pop on back out to our expedition. Oh, we do actually get to change our deck. Okay. Doubles the effect of a day's passing on an adjacent tile. Whoa. Okay. Okay. All right. Uh, we can also go for this right here. It can be placed near a forest adjacent to the road. Its roots devour enemies that have less than 15% HP. Hey, that's actually pretty slick. Uh, so it looks like we need to have more than 7 but less than 12. So we do have to remove something. Placed near a forest adjacent to the road. So is a forest... Is, does a grove count as a forest? I assume. I assume so. Otherwise, uh, I would be confused. What do we want to not have? I feel like an Oblivion is kind of important. Uh, I feel like the mountain and the rock are pretty darn important as well. Spawns a chest at the start of the loot. I mean, I feel like this mixed with the Chrono Crystal sounds really good to me. Uh, spiders seem pretty good. I mean, I guess we could ditch the vampires. Oh, this is tough. I didn't think I would have to make such a tough decision already. We could, You know what? Let's, uh, let's ditch the cemetery. But we have to have two. Oh, okay. I see. I see. We'll, we'll probably get more up there. So we have to remove something from this category or this category. Uh, I guess we'll ditch the vampire mansion for now with the hope that we get it back in the future there. Uh, okay. Chapter one, class warrior. I don't think we have another uh, class that we can pick right now. I, guess, I assume it would be right down here. These are the only equipment slots we've got. Gotcha. All right. In we shall go with a new loop for us to hero upon. I want to see. So does the two times speed not speed up combat? Doesn't seem like it does. So I guess that's actually pretty good. So, yeah, we should not be able to place this anywhere. All right. We need a forest. Whether or not we technically have one, I guess we will find out. We may have a useless card in our deck, but I can only assume that a, a grove should count as a forest. All right. So, rock. So, rock. <laughs> uh... So, I kind of want to do the mountain like somewhere like right here, I think. So, we'll put down this bad boy right there, and we'll try and build it right like that. Battlefield. Spawns a chest at the start of each loop. Enemies on adjacent tiles can become ghosts. Bring it. All right. We'll pop that bad boy down there. These guys can't become ghosts anyways, I don't think. No, they need to have a soul to become a ghost. What do we got? 10% counter. That seems really good. 4% uh, attack speed. Oh, that's a ring. Honestly, it looks like a chest piece. Doubles the effect of a day's passing on adjacent tiles. So, this does not... This is on each loop. This is not on a day's passing. Uh, it can be placed... Uh, I, I would assume that that might make it so this has a 10% chance of summoning a slime. I could be wrong. Uh, the best thing I can think of right now would be putting that down and then putting meadows around it. That's like the best idea I've got. Max HP up by 97 there. That's my educated guess. We're losing a little bit more HP than I'd like. Four to six damage there. Oop, hold on, we got a rock. Good. We could put the... What happens if we put the Chrono Crystals in the middle there? I guess it would probably... Yeah, it probably would be good. Do we want Ghost Spiders? Hmm. I don't know. We might. We might indeed. If we can get away with it, we might want ghost spiders. If 
if we put it here, they can spawn in all four of those, or four, four directions, theoretically, if we had a spot to the north. We'll do that. It should spawn a decent amount of spiders. And they'll be a little bit more spread out. Whether or not that's good, I guess, remains to be seen. Okay, so there's our mountain. First of all, put that down. Second of all, put that... Oh, so this has to be by the road. Okay, doubles the effect of a day's passing on adjacent tiles. Doubles the effect of days pass on adjacent tiles. We put it here, and I guess we put the meadow. That. I. I. Fine. Okay, so that should heal six. I, I don't know. That doesn't seem like that big of a deal. Uh, bonus movement speed within its range. Attack speed for all units. Works for me. We got Oblivion still. We have no forest anywhere. Wait. Why is it doing that? I don't know why. All right. Good stuff. Counter. Got another rock. I got a rock. I got a rock. I got a rock. Two shot the spiders. Awesome. There is our grove. Double the spawning of a spider. Be placed near a forest and adjacent to the road. Near? So, is near? Maybe this is near. And this is adjacent. Oh. Well, sure. We'll try that out. So... Roots devour enemies that have less than 15% left. So if we are going to be theoretically doubling the amount of rat wolves, either we're going to spawn two of them or we're going to spawn them every one day instead of every two days, one of the two, I think it might be pretty decent because then we have the, uh, the devouring roots there. Ooh. Max HP up by quite a bit. Attack speed, vampirism seems really nice. Meadow... can hold on to it, I guess. I, I wish that we could put these out here, but I guess that's that's the point there, mister. If we put a building here... No, I was thinking of that one where if you put a building by it, it, um... It makes it so... You get the extra resources. You can't put that down by meadows. You, it will not allow you to. It will not allow you to. Okay. Getting that good old HP, HP. So it did look like it summoned the rat wolves. Summoned two of them. Okay, so I guess, like, yeah. So theoretically, it would probably be good for us to hold off on placing those. If we can manage. Ooh. Wrecked. Oh, my goodness. Okay, so we're going to get the mountain, which means harpies can now spawn, which is fine. Our HP is okay. We have a shield. Get it on. Counter 16%. That's a big get. Uh, I'll, and I'll happily take the uh, attack speed and vampirism over that there. How much HP do we... Okay, so we have two... Two HP. Do we gain seven? No, we gain ten. Does it round to the nearest five or something? Oh, boy. Should we put down these meadows? Well, we don't need to worry until the next day is roughly about to start anyways. Come on, counters. Okay. We're in there. Regen per second. Works for me. Damage. Okay. All right. We're, we're doing okay. We're doing okay. We got the goblin camp. 
which uh, I have been told to oblivion. We will see in the future if that is a good call or not. I'm going to say, sure the heck, why not? The heck, why not? We got beacon, bonus attack speed and movement speed there. Right now, this is no man's land. <laughs> uh, I feel like we want to maybe have the attack speed buff potentially in an area where there's uh, like solitary units. Max HP up, damage all up by four. We lose a little bit of vampirism. I think that's okay. Counter goes down. Regen evasion and damage to all goes up. Sure. We'll rock it. Hello there, bad boy. I mean, it just seemed like it would be pretty darn rough to have this guy, like, slowly getting a camp of three there. Like, uh, you can get three of them. And they can all turn into ghosts. I feel like we could very easily die. Very easily. How many skeletons spawn? Spawns a skeleton every three days. I feel like we can, uh... We can be okay then, right? I mean, okay, so... Gives the attack speed boost. Do we not want to put enemies there? That's the thing that I really do feel like I need to, uh, to process. 20% attack speed for all units in the range. I feel like we can get away with this, and it's not that bad. Oh, please, no. Okay, I thought he was gonna go right there. That's one thing I knew I wouldn't want. There's no, uh, no skeleton there anyways. Road Lantern. There's another grove. Okay. I like the idea of that. Maybe we should put it up here since nothing can spawn here. Yeah, we definitely should put it up top. So, we'll constantly spawn quite a bit, but we shouldn't have too much of an issue. There should be flowers. Oh, God, this harpy fight. How's this going to go? Not bad, not bad, not bad. All right. Okay, if we get them basically close to dead, they're gonna... Oh, we got another grove there. What happens if we put down another blood grove? Does it... Hungry grove. Hungry grove occasionally attacks the hero for 14 damage. What? Why is it hungry? Lost connection with the forest. Oh, no. Wait, what? Why was I able to put it down then? Shoot. Okay, so I guess if we can put a forest here, we're going to put a forest there. Uh, but I guess... Yeah, no, we did get... We totally got attacked there. We're getting attacked by the forest itself. That's no good. That's no good. Uh, uh-oh. We want to put the chrono crystal by. God, I really don't like having it there. So this is not like a daily effect. Like lanterns can. Actually, that's not half bad. Right? Oh, God. I think I, I might have beefed that. I might have really beefed that. Uh, this is just straight up a damage up. This is enough of an HP upgrade for me to say, sure, we can ditch that other thing. Uh, we, we actually we have full HP-ish. <laughs> with Full HP with a big old asterisk over it there, so... So far, so fine. Another grove. Okay. So this is no longer a hungry forest. Good. Good, 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 good. It does mean even more rot wolves. That made a mistake. So these can be ghost spiders now.
sure. All right, this is this is Spider Veil. That is going to be a harpy that gets eventually a, uh, a spider with them. Ooh. Uh, slight damage down. Attack speed up, regen up, evasion up. I'm going to actually go for it. Damage to all. Okay, first of all. Uh, we lose the counter. We lose... That's it. We lose counter. We gain attack speed. I'm going to keep the counter. Uh, all else being equal or basically equal. I didn't compare it exactly directly. We'll see how this goes. Eh, a little sus. A little sus. Defense up by quite a bit. Magic damage up by seven. So magic damage does piercing damage. Oh, you can reorder this. So you can make certain things get shuffled out quicker. All right. Let's see how this goes. This is, uh, this has some potential to mess us up. That is for sure. The 15% KO has not done anything for us yet. Not a single time has that actually mattered. Okay. There. That time I bet you it did. I am almost certain. And that time I bet you it did too. Okay. Awesome. Treasury again. Mountain. Sure. Oh, boy. All right, so we have big HP or B <laughs> big HP, big HP, big HP. Let's take the big HP. Oh God, welcome to spider hell. Uh, I'm not too worried about them though. I think that they might just be like relatively free experience. Well, we, 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 a little bit spookier than they've been. A little bit spookier than they've been, I'll say, I'll say. Okay. Not bad. Not bad, not bad, not bad. Oh, there's a slime here too, huh? Okay. Keep on looking, keep on looking. Oh, ooh, another chrono crystal. That's a lot. I mean, these should give us six. All of these should give us six HP at the start of every single day. Um, I'm oblivioning that. This I could just see this getting really out of hand. It might not. It might be totally fine, but it also might get out. Also might get out of hand. Uh, HP is going down like a little bit more than I would like for sure. I want the six there. Okay, so we're gonna wanna make sure we pause immediately following this chest here. Ooh, hot stuff. Uh, defense five, vampirism nine. I really enjoy the vampirism stat for sure. Max HP is down a little bit, but we gain magic damage, defense, uh, and damage to all. I say that's good, especially in this kind of section over here. I feel like getting a little bit of vampirism and damage to all could, we could, like, squeak somebody down to, uh, insta-death territory. Uh-oh. Is that... Okay, so it's out of our radius for that. That's good. But if we get another Oblivion, I think we say Sayonara. Oh, no. To that goblin camp. If we can hope... Like, I would actually truly enjoy that. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Max HP up by quite a bit. Magic damage 7. Fine. Fine, 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 fine. I feel like the magic damage might be doing really, really well to, against these guys. We're shredding. We're shredding. They're doing not too much damage to us. Vampirism barely down. Regen up. Defense barely down. Damage barely up. I, I feel like maybe it's not worth going for, but I'm going to do it anyway. Two-shot bop. Ring, what is it? Oh, huge counter up. 10% extra counter up. I'm doing it. These guys are in vine range. Nice. Nice. 
Oh, we're popping off. Okay, so this seems like a big deal. Want to maybe, like, tone it down just like a, just a touch in that area. All right, we'll see how this goes. You actually are probably going to... Oh, what? Did we switch targets? What's happening? Okay. I think that the vines did actually help us go into a position where we didn't have to take an extra hit there. I'm, I'm going for these for now. Wait, are, Blood Grove, why are you shaking? Why is the Blood Grove shake? What is heaven? What is that? What is that thing? What hell hath I wrought upon my world? Uh, living force preys on wounded occupants of adjacent tiles may spawn something dreadful from their remains. Oh, no. Oh, no. We could leave, but we're at full HP. What could possibly go wrong? There's just two of whatever those hideous flesh beasts are. Okay. Oh, won't you take me to Spider Town? All right, this is hopefully this is my like little farming area. This is that's the hope. Oh, that's huge. That's huge. Yeah, this is my farming area. Uh, 20% counter. I'll take that. I know we have these over here that are unfulfilled. Don't worry. Don't worry, I know. We're gonna be, uh, we're gonna be speeding the hell through there. Where's that heartbeat spawning? Okay. Stupid. Just Spider Town. I mean, they're proving to be, like, not too bad. A beacon, that's another one of the... Yeah, it's another one of those. Eh. Eh. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. One, two, three, four. It also puts it in a spot that's not prime real estate. I don't know that I necessarily like that. Because we don't have to put it down. I guess that's like the false uh, false idea that I have. That if I got it, it's got to go down. If we're finding there's something that we're not wanting to put down too often. Oh. Too often, though, then we're going to want to make sure that we... Uh, okay, so now are we... We're fully fulfilled on all of those crystals. So let's start doing this. We put down even more spider cocoon. I mean, they seem all right. We're getting pretty darn close to uh, to that up here, the old first boss. I'm a little, sp a little spooked. All right, how does this go? Okay, not bad. Oh, good stats. Oh, wait, no, we lose the vampirism. Evasion 10% is pretty good. The damage up is pretty good. The regen up is the same. All right, come on, evasion. Come on, evasion. What are we at for evasion total now? Ten, oh, 10%. Is it, what is this? It's a shield. Uh, defense up, vampirism quite a bit up. I'm going to wait. Oh, nope, let's not. I was going to say I'm going to wait until after the skeletons. Come on, counters and evades, counters and evades. All right. Yeah, we, we did not lose that much down there. Oh. Uh, do I want to counter 20% is so nice. I feel like this is, I feel like we have to, uh, oh, uh, ladies and gentlemen, we're about to enter hell. I, uh, I maybe just looked at my screen over there for the first time. 
Uh, uh-oh. Come on, Forrest. Help me out here. Help me out here, buddy. Okay. Oh, Nelly, this is about to get gross. What else can we do? Damage all five, vampirism eleven. Honestly, that kind of sounds better for me. No. Oh. Flesh golem, living plant with a soul. Oh god. Oh, he's... Oh, no. Boss monster. Okay, well, we'll get to kill him before he does another attack. He cannot be... Fuck. Oh, okay, wait. If we hover over this, it should pause. All right. Counter 10%. Evasion up. Defense up. All right, we're going to use all the stuff that we got to hopefully help us out against... Yeah, sure. Actually, we probably shouldn't have done that yet. Defense down. Damage to all... This one does more damage to all. This one has more vampirism. I'm a little bit more scared about that. All right. Okay. Hopefully we can use all the stuff that we just got to make us uh, a little bit less dying. Oh, shoot. That's a problem. Oh, God. That's a problem. All right. Well, the thing is we'll probably want to ditch after this anyways. Get damaged, that's all. Okay. Probably should have done it over here, though. Where can we put this where the adjacent enemies won't become ghosts? Oh, boy. Please kill big boy. Oh, God. All right. Well, I mean, like, look at that loot, though. That is pretty extreme. Uh, defense up. Attack speed. Regen is the same. We get vampirism instead. That's sure. 32% uh, uh, ooh, ooh, ooh. attack speed. Whoa. Yeah, these, like, the, the white quality ones just seem like they give you a ton of a singular stat. Ooh, I tried to pause, but you know what? It's just, it's fine. It's just one in a wolf. That actually shouldn't be that bad. We're low key kind of slapping here. And the stuff we're getting is pretty good. Damage to all up, vampirism up, evasion up. We lose a little bit of match damage. We also get the extra max HP, though. Attack speed. What do we gain? We gain magic damage instead of defense and we get barely any extra but a little extra vampirism pause ah okay okay i rocks i do rocks hit me i do rocks uh yikes Let's let's think. All right, let's risk it. Risk thine biscuit. I thought about it for merely a minute. We actually might gain HP off of those guys due to like Chrono Crystal Hell. Crystal Chrono Cults. Oh, we putting in so much work. Yeah, we, we genuinely might be gaining HP off those guys. I don't know if we'll gain off three, though. Oh. Okay, okay, okay. All right, we should definitely, like, the next meadows we get, we should put here for sure, even though I think we can get a benefit if we put it up there. Oh, there can be four spiders. Hello, Spideys. Uh, 
Uh, <laughs> I'm gonna say not at this point. Boy, there's so many enemies. We're doing good though. We're doing really good. Oh, this is bad idea. I like what's gonna be really spooky is um gob goblin <laughs> I don't know, I was gonna say goblinopolis. Uh Lich's Palace. It's time to face the destiny of this world. Are we going to make it there? Well, the good news is we shouldn't have to fight any blood golems. I actually think we might make it there. The, the biggest concern is this this fight on this tile right here, I think. Oh, this is a bop. This is... Oh, this is bopping. So, if we walk through this, don't we gain... Um... Oh, my God. So, we can't put anything here. Every palace increases the Lich's HP and damage by 5%. Is this because he, he fills up the spot around... Ah, so that is the reward for putting stuff around your camp. Interesting. The, like the reward, I, I guess. You know what I mean? Either way, let's put that there. Alright. Oblivion. Eh? We'll see how we... <laughs> Lol. Oh, we could actually oblivion his uh, his building. If we get up there and it really does not feel like we have much of a concern otherwise, I suppose we just do it. I don't know. I'm going to put it here. All this stuff is going to go away anyways, but if we get a meadow, I guess we'll put it... Oh, well. Now I have to decide. We have to pick between resources. If we get one more resource there, we can get the fully tapped out, which we probably should have been doing anyway. Uh, fine. We'll just put that there. I don't think we're going to end up using it, though. Oh, man. This final loop is bumping. Nice. Tapped out. Hopefully, it doesn't spawn a gargoyle upon my face. Okay. Oh, this is getting spicy. Blood Grove, where? Why not? Okay, we have two Oblivions. How's this going? Oh, this is... We're actually dodging, like, everything these punks have to offer. We've become a god! Okay, so we have a Road Lantern. I don't think we have really a great place to put it. There. Oh, yeah, we did. We totally did. If anything is going to be spooky, I think it's going to be this section right here. Okay. What is the difference here? Uh, higher counter and vampirism. I actually think I would prefer that, yeah. Oh, this is exactly what I knew would be a little bit spookier. fight two skeletons together. It's not that bad. It's more than I want. Obviously, I'd prefer to fight one singular skeleton. Okay, what do we got here? Defense up. Huge upgrade to counter. At the expense of some vampirism. We have 39%. 52% counter, though. Oh, no. 
Oh no. That hurt. Okay. Um We should get two pieces of wood there just for walking through those. Okay. Just trying to analyze as best I can here. Oh, clean, 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 clean. All right. I don't know what the boss is going to be like, so, you know, we might we might be screwed. Okay. Got another rock. Oh. I'm going to oblivion the four bopper. I feel like that's going to that's going to help us more than oblivion that 5% thing. Five percent, five percent, five percent. Maybe we can oblivion the lich, uh, but I don't. I don't want to. I would rather not. Okay, good old rock. Nothing like a good old rock. All right. Oh, the moment of truth. Good old rock to send it. Send it on out. Ah. I wanted to build the blood grove. Why can't I build the blood grove here? because it doesn't want me to have that big of an advantage versus the boss, I guess. All right. Oh, I want the counter. All right. Let's freaking see. Hey there, Sans. How? How is this even possible? That's right. You didn't devour me like the rest of the world. Haven't I? I do really don't think so. What are you talking about? I'm standing right in front of you. I consumed all of your reality, every one of its elements, now rests in a separate pocket dimension. Spaces, living beings, information, even memories. They shall remain there until entropy does its work, turning everything into a uniform static mass. Along with you, of course. You're insane. So, what do we have here? I see. You found a way to interact with the other pieces of your reality. To organize, combine, and merge them. But how? I don't see any exceptional talent or knowledge in you. You hardly even understand what is happening, right? I'll tell you what's happening. A pile of bones is butchering my world and thinks that it can get away with it. You're already doomed and you know it. Perhaps you're just the first in a series of systematic errors problem I must learn to solve. Let's not waste any time, then. I don't think you're capable of feeling regret, but I'm about to change that. Okay, so let's take a look here. Not that we can change anything in the combat, you know? Undead Cosmic Mage with a Soul. Researcher. Health and damage are increased by 5% for every Lich's Palace at the start of the battle. So... There's two of them. Okay. Oh, God. It's pretty rough. Oh, I don't know, man. We're going to need to do some serious countering here and evading that is not happening. Oh, baby, there's an evade. We have a 52% chance, and we've not done very much countering or evading. Oh, no. No! You piece of garbage. No, we were so close! You've died in battle. Death does not favor the fallen, but it made a little exception. For you. Oh, man. Oh, it was so close. I'm alive, but how? Thanks to us, a small group of us dragged you here. It wasn't easy. How could you fight off all those monsters? They nearly killed me. I mean, yeah, monsters. You mean the Lich? That's also interesting. Many of them vanished right before our eyes. Some managed to avoid, but I think most of the beasts were gone even before we left the camp. I think you're 
trips are deeply connected to your memories, my friend. Everything falls apart as soon as you're unconscious. So we just... We just dreaming? Oh, hell. Well, we can make ourselves stronger. We can make our next loop attempt better. What should we have really done? I mean, maybe the uh, the stats we had were not... They just weren't quite right. Uh, maybe we could have fought tougher stuff? I mean, if we are... The thing is... The weird thing is, if you're at full HP, you're technically... You're not playing optimally, are you? Right? Like, you only want to be at full HP if you're fighting everything as hard as you possibly... Like, everything you're fighting is as hard as it possibly can be. Otherwise, you don't want to have full HP until the, the final boss fight. That's what's so weird about this game, and I like it. I like it a lot. Oh, man. Uh, okay, so... We could upgrade our thing so we heal more when we step over. Uh, potions heal 4% of max HP. You can take up to 3 potions with you. 2 potions are refilled at camp. 4% of your max HP also unlocks the swamp card. Let's do it. Uh, I don't know if there's anything that matters as far as connecting these or not. Mm, it's America. We could find some fertile soil and that we were able to save some seeds of precious healing herbs. The real miracle is that all these healing poultices and balms still have any effect. We've already lost many people because of the cataclysm. It would be nice not to lose more to disease. And these potions can help you. Take a bottle if you're strong enough, traveler, or two on your trip. And your chances of getting back unharmed will be much higher. Oh, so I guess we'll figure out how that works in the old next episode there. We also have the uh, the swamp card. What does the upgrade do? Uh, plus 2% potions, healing effect, plus 2 potions to carry with you. So you can hold 3, but 2 are refilled at camp. If you can hold 5 by upgrading this, you would have to stockpile by not using them, right? Uh, for a couple, like, outings or runs, if you will. Resource gathering trips, if you will. Uh, I'm satisfied enough that we almost beat the uh, the old Mr. Lich there on that that first boss, at the very least. On, uh, uh, on our second episode. It's, it's pretty good. But, alas, we'll have to see what the swamp does. We'll have to see how much the potions affect us. I... I if they heal, what, 4%? Was it 4%? Uh, so 8% extra HP total. We might have been able to beat the boss. If we had 3, we, that's 12%. That might have been enough. You know? Uh, interesting. That is going to do it for today, though. If you are interested in this series, you want it to keep going for a long time to come, make sure to hit the like button on this video and comment down below. We are going to keep on playing some Loop Hero. Uh, we have like a little bit of a limit on how far we can get in the campaign before a certain day, but you know we'll we'll keep on playing it until I reach that that point, and then we will continue uh, the second that uh, I am able to. If there's anything that uh, I don't know how to I don't know how to explain. I don't know well everything I'm supposed to not say. You know, so I'll just say. We're going to keep on playing a lot of Loop Hero because I really like it. If there's ever a day where there's not Loop Hero, know that it's because I can't upload Loop Hero. Uh, but that's going to do it for today. Thank you for watching. I greatly appreciate any and all support you wish to leave on the series up to this point. Check out the channel for Roguelikes and more every single day, and I will see you next time. Bye.